Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a long, long time. I don't know how long it's been since I made a video, but it feels like forever. It's probably just been a couple weeks, but I just got back from a vacation. Um, no, I'm not out just willy-nilly spending money just to go vacationing in the mountains or anything, but my sister was getting married and um, they had a wedding in the Poconos, so of course I had to be there. I was the maid of honor after all. Um, it was a beautiful trip. I love being in the mountains. I absolutely um, miss that scenery. Um, I moved from Florida to Florida from Oregon. So I used to see the mountain scenes all the time and now I see nothing but flat. There are no mountains in Florida. Um, anyway, when I was out there, I completely disconnected from YouTube. I did not watch any YouTube. I allowed myself to just kind of separate from YouTube and I didn't really even I maybe checked a couple comments um, but I just wanted to kind of relax and detach and unfortunately <laughs> I detached a little too far um, so when I was hanging out with my family and everything up there um, hanging out with my mom we're in the cabin and you know Normally, I would be watching prepper videos. I'm keeping track of what's going on. I'm checking the news. I'm seeing what's going on. What do I need to prep for? I'm like all on top of it, especially because I do YouTube and because I am a prepper. Um, I like to keep on top of everything, but I didn't check YouTube. I didn't watch the videos. I didn't see what people were putting out. Um, and I didn't think my mom would really want to watch prepping videos. So in the cabin, we just sat and watched like 90 Day Fiance and cooking channels and all this mindless television that she, um, she really wanted to watch and I was just going to watch it with her because it's my mom. <laughs> um, but I can totally see how people can get caught in this normalcy bias or not even get caught in it but just stay in it. Because if you are not on top of what's going on, if you're not watching prepping videos, checking in with the news, investigating and really just questioning things and taking in information, it's so easy to get caught in this idea that everything's fine, nothing's going on. Yeah, there might be some inflation, but it's not that bad. Um, probably the majority, definitely the majority, probably 90% of people are just caught in this normalcy bias and they think everything is fine, everything's gonna be fine they go to their grocery store and there's still stuff on the shelves and they think ah everything's cool everything's good prices have gone up a little bit but it'll be all right we can manage and some people think it's going to go back to normal like the prices are going to go down I, they're never going to go down but I, I don't think that is a thing except for great value luncheon meat it did go back down somehow it went from a dollar 92 to 212 or 242 and now it's back to $1.92. So if you like great value luncheon meat, go get some because it's back down somehow, unlike everything else. Anyway, um, I really kind of just got to see a different point of view because when I'm home, I'm caught up in my own, uh, my own lifestyle and I forget that other people are not you know, the same, doing things the same that I am. Most of you are, most of you are prepping, most of you are taking in the information, but a huge population, too big of, a, of the population is ill prepared and they're gonna be caught off guard when this next great depression comes. They're not gonna be mentally prepared, they're not gonna be physically prepared, they're not gonna have food, they're not gonna know what to do, they're not gonna have a alternate job if they lose their job they're not going to have ideas of how they can make money if they do lose that job because they just don't think it's going to happen they think everything's going to be fine and um i went to my sister's wedding it was beautiful and a part of me just this uh bible verse came to mind um everyone was drinking and marrying and carrying on everybody was having a great time and not thinking or um stressing about anything, just going on like everything's normal. And I'm here like thinking uh, all these things that could be going on in the outside world while, while I'm here at this wedding. Of course I enjoyed myself, but um, I still think about other things all the time. And it's not a bad thing, but my mind goes constantly. I can't stop my mind and I always have to be doing something. I'm always taking in information. 
Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that's what helps you prepare if you know what's going on. Um, so I'm going to do a little grocery haul here because I did need to like restock the, the pantry after I got back from vacation. So what you're going to see here is mostly just my preps. I put away my regular groceries. Um, I don't really show my regular groceries because I don't think you guys need to see like my zucchini. That's not really a prep. Um, so this is mostly what I consider food preps that are going back in the pantry. So let's go ahead and see that. All right, so here's the restock up I did on my pantry. And like I always do, I'm going to kind of go from left to right here. I got a couple things of fabric softener. I'm trying to just load up on all those household things that are going up in price like crazy. So I'm trying to get larger quantities of all my household cleaning supplies, all the things I go through on a regular basis. Um, Walmart pickup hooked me up this time because I actually ordered two of the 160 count boxes and they gave me one 160 and one 240 and I'm not going to say anything about it. I got hooked up. Um, I got 80 of the gallon storage bags, ugh, 200 count of the smaller bags. I got two big things of foil. One of them's heavy duty, one of them's regular, 150 square feet and 225. These are bigger rolls than I normally get. I usually get like a 75 foot roll. Um, these have gone up in price so much. It's crazy. It's still cheaper than the Dollar Tree I calculated um, and better quality than the Dollar Tree. But but these are crazy for aluminum foil. I just, I can't believe it. And then I saw my first case of shrinkflation. Maybe not my first case, but the first significantly noticeable case of shrinkflation. I have always gotten this palm olive um, phosphate-free dish detergent and it used to be called eco well i just added it to my cart like normal um it's always been 297 and so i added a couple to my cart when i got it i was like what the heck is this small little bottle this is 45 ounces now for 297 it's always been a bigger bottle 75 ounces i think i have one Ugh, right here okay so see that it's the same stuff this is $2.97 a month ago or so, whenever I bought it. This is $2.97 now. 75 ounces, 45 ounces. That is baloney. That is crazy. So if you don't if you don't think it's a good idea to prep right now and stock up, it you're crazy. Um, everything's just gonna keep on getting exponentially more expensive, and I don't know how people are gonna make it if they're not loading up on things now and putting stuff back. This I actually got on Amazon, activated charcoal powder. I'm going to be making a video on how to use the activated charcoal to make a cheap and very well-working water filter out of things that most people can find around their house. Um, activated charcoal is great for a whole lot of things. You can make water filters with them. Um, one time I was, I was backpacking and then I had come into town into like a more populated area and I um, was drank some bad drinking water from a stream. I even filtered it through my Catodyne water filter, but it wound up being bad water. And somebody um, in the area happened to have activated charcoal and they basically, like I got really, really sick. Like I, I was, I passed out. I, I feel like I was hallucinating or something, but I don't know. I just kind of passed out and I was kind of in and out and um, had like a really bad stomach ache, but somebody in the area happened to have some activated charcoal and they like shoveled like a couple tablespoons down my throat and made me drink it with some clean drinking water. And that's what basically saved my stomach from um, water poisoning or whatever you might call it, bad water. So good to have on hand, especially if you wind up in a situation where you're not so sure about your drinking water. And then I got a couple different types of oils, canola oil, uh, this has basically been the same price. I, I haven't noticed any significant price increases on it, but my avocado oil has gone up. Used to be $7.97. Now it's $9.97, I believe. Um, whatever it was, it was a pretty significant jump. And then I just got, I actually got two of these. I think my son busted into it already, but just some quick jasmine rice. Got a bunch of seasonings and spices. Um, if you guys are going to be making dishes out of rice and all these, you know, staples that you have in the house get something with some flavor to add to it you know you don't want just plain rice 
And I love Thai food and Asian food. So I got um, four different curry sauces. And what I'm going to do is mix this curry sauce with some coconut milk. And you can mix some canned vegetables with it, pour it over rice. It's delicious. It's easy, fast, and delicious. And then I got some Thai-style sweet chili sauce. Um, this Walmart brand one is not so great. I like this one I got from the Asian food store better, and it's much cheaper at the Asian food store. Um, so, yeah, look, look at your different, like, ethnic stores and stuff, because a lot of times you can get this stuff cheaper than you can at your local grocery store. I got some rice aroni, two stir-fried rice and two rice pilaf. And those were buy one, get one free, I think, somewhere. Uh, uh, where was it? Publix, buy one, get one free. So they wound up being like 75 cents a piece, which is a good deal for these. These have a Best Buy date of not too far away. Well, it's almost a year. But these things, I'm telling you guys, will last forever. So I had found one of these in my cabinet that I, I guess I hadn't dated or didn't rotate properly. And it was, it was well, well beyond the Best Buy date. The rice is totally fine. It comes with a little seasoning packet. The seasoning packet kind of hardened. Um, all I did was get a, the back of a knife, like a heavy knife, and I just beat that seasoning packet into submission, and it came back to normal. It just kind of got cakey, I guess, but it turned out totally fine, tasted great. So don't ever think things are, like, done when the expiration or Best Buy date has passed. And then I got a bunch of gravies. I got some turkey gravy mix and some, like, biscuits and gravy, country-style gravy. And I like having these around. Yes, you can make your own gravies, but I like having these around for quick meals. Like, I try to think of things that I could cook really quick and easily on a camp stove or something. Um, turkey gravy over some canned turkey and some mashed potatoes, like your very basic mashed potatoes that you only add water to. And maybe a can can of sweet potatoes, and you have a great you have a great meal there. And then I just got another one of these Velveeta skillet meals, Philly cheesesteak, and some chicken fry mix. That's not really preps, I guess, but oh well. And then, like I was saying, the great value luncheon meat, which is good. So if you're a spam fan or you can stand spam. Um, this Great Value Luncheon Meat is very, very good, and I've actually not even bought Spam since I tried this, because I am a Spam snob, and this is probably better, I'm going to say. Um, it had gone from $1.97 to $2.12 to $2.42, and then now it's back down to $1.97, something like that. It had, it had gone up pretty significantly, and now it's back to $1.97, so I'm constantly stocking up on this. I'm probably going to go grab a bunch more because of that price drop. And then I got two things of corned beef, which lasts forever and ever. The best buy is $20.26, but it'll go much further, obviously. A couple more of these roast beefs. Um... Now, I know that I can can my meat and everything, but with the price of meat these days and the price of jars and the time it takes, I am making the best choice for myself by just buying it in a can. This works for me. Um, whenever I use this, I take the roast beef juice out of it and I pour it over my dog's uh, dry dog food and he loves it. It's like a special treat for him. A couple of more things of coconut milk for all my curry sauce that I got. Cajun boiled peanuts. I love to snack on these. And then I got a bunch of tomato sauce. One more Sloppy Joe mix. A tomato salsa. I haven't tried this yet, actually. Salsa in a can. Um, I need to try it. <laughs> I already had two of them, and I was just adding one more because I had a spot for it. But um, These Blue Runner Creole Cream Style Red Beans are amazing. I love them. They're so good. Over some rice. Um, if you guys like Popeye's red beans and rice, you can make your own red beans and rice with this stuff and it tastes way better. Yes, I could use dried beans, but when I'm in a rush to just make something like a side dish for dinner or a, a quick dinner, just putting some of this over the rice, amazing. And for some reason, every time I buy these, you can't really see it, let's see. There's rust on top of the cans. Like... You, you can't really see it. Maybe you can, but 
it's not the best buy date yet. I mean, it's not like they're really old, but for some reason they always have rust on them. So I don't know where they're coming from that they're getting this rust. But that's the only thing I've noticed out of all my canned goods that comes with rust. And then I got three things of the whole new potatoes and one more thing of sliced mushrooms and a couple things of saltine crackers. Um, these are super cheap still and it's good for adding to soup, good to have around for, you can use it for breading, you can use it, um, you know, ground it up as breadcrumbs and use it for all sorts of things. So that's everything I'm putting back. And one thing I want to say that if you're a new prepper and <clears throat> you're questioning yourself like, should I be doing this? Do I have enough? Should I keep going? Is this silly? Am I going to be, you know, am I, I going to feel stupid for doing this? Let me just tell you that I've been doing this for a couple years now and I have absolutely no regrets except that I didn't get more stuff sooner. <clears throat> I regret that I waited um, and didn't buy more of my meats and more of the things that have gone up in price, more of these type things. I should have had a better stockpile because they've gone up in price so much that I, I my only regret is that I didn't buy more of it. So you won't regret it. I, I can with 99% certainty say that you will not regret stocking up. You will be very thankful that you did. I do believe that we're headed to a Great Depression and it's going to be catastrophic. People will lose their lives. It is serious. I know it sounds like fear mongering, but we went through it once in the 30s. We're not um, immune to it happening again. And with the economy the way it is and everything else on the world stage the way it is, um, we, we're, we're being set up for a huge, huge problem. And people are going to lose their jobs. People are going to lose their homes. People are going to be out on the streets and people will go hungry. You don't want to be one of those people. So keep stocking up. I say this over and over again. The reason I post these haul videos is just to keep you encouraged to keep doing it. Get the things done. I'll see you guys in the next video.